hi guys i'm going to be showing you the whole process of making this abacha like this abacha eh huh. after showing you the recipe of this abacha eh, and you try it out you would not want to have it any other way like i'm telling you literally i'm not i'm not i'm not exaggerating but this recipe is mind-blowing so stay tuned and let's get right into the video for this recipe these are the ingredients we are going to be using we have fish we have manua bacha we have seasoning cubes salt otazi cameroon pepper oba and something else that i also missed adding was crayfish so don't forget to add that before we go ahead to prepare the abacha we are going to make sure we prepare everything that we need so what i'm using for this for the preparation is cameroon pepper and what i'm trying to do is to roast it up a little bit guys the flavor that this gives when you roast the pepper before you use either use cameroon pepper or those chili peppers but the flavor that it gives to your abacha is very very important then the next thing i will add is the calabash nutmeg and then salt I must really warn you roasting the pepper can really be dangerous and harmful make sure your kids are not home or are not close by and you open the windows mama this is the pepper the egg is still there so i'm just going to use grinder and just grind this smoothly the flavor that this pepper gives eh, is very nice you have to take it outside so that mom will not choke inside the house you know you know come and buy wahala for yourself we we'll just take out the the ehuru just take out the ehuru separate it and then blend the pepper well properly then you pour over the boiling water you pour the boiling water over the abaja to soften it the whole essence of using the sieve is to is not to make it too soft that it becomes too soggy so as you're pouring the water you're shuffling it and make sure everything everyone gets every part is properly incorporated with the hot water and then that is what i'm doing you can see what i'm doing like i'm trying to shuffle the abacha and make sure the water touches everywhere and once you are sure that water has touched every part of the abacha the next thing we're going to do is to fluff it out and then keep it aside and allow it to cool to prep the fish we are going to be using salt and yaji that is all i'm going to be using to prep the fish that is suya pepper that is called yaji also so i'm going to use that once you have done that you're going to use your hands clean hands and rub it in this yaji had some pepper so one more me yeah, i'm scared of pepper shell so i can't use my hands i have to use some shield <laughs> don't go to the battlefield without your armor <laughs> so just massage everything in and allow it at least 10 minutes remember i told you that i forgot to add the crayfish while i was showing you the list of the ingredients i was using so the crayfish this this roll this part is really important you're going to toast it in a pan make sure you toast it there's a flavor it gives and there's this kind of crunchiness it leaves your crayfish once you are over and done with take it out immediately so it doesn't get burnt because it still cooks while it's still in the pot so the next thing after that is done then we're now going to assemble our abacha and start adding the ingredients first i added the calabash nutmeg and the seasoning cube i had to pound it inside that stuff so it's like it doesn't uh, I had to pound it because it's very hard after that i'm going to add that cameroon pepper that we blended and roasted on fire so we are going to just add everything this is just like one pot abachasha so you're just going to add the um, cameroon pepper the ehuru and salt and then the last thing we are also going to no not the last thing sha we're going to add the oil also remember i said manu abacha if you go to the market and you want to specifically ask them for manual abacha i hope they'll be honest enough to give it to you then after you've added all those we are going to mix everything up this part is very crucial it's always nice to use your hands but because the abacha was still a bit hot 
I had to use a spatula first when it cooled down a little bit then I went in with my hands so we are going just going to mix everything up and you can look and you see that everything is gradually coming together so as you're mixing that up you notice that okay there's still more oil needed then you are going to add in the oil so I added the oil check for seasoning if you need to balance it up this abacha is basically very simple to make like there's no stress in making this abacha you just have to make sure one of the things to get the flavor that you need for this abacha make sure you toast your ehuru the pepper you're going to be using and so what else are we toasting and crayfish make sure you toast those three to get that flavor that this abacha will give you if you do it you are not going to miss out on that flavor at all so i'm just going to add everything or balance everything that needs to be balanced this abacha i think is is for my mom's side and she taught me how to when she came in for mogo and she made the abacha because it's been a long time i ate the abacha so when she came for mogo i was eating the abacha practically every week like i was eating this almost every other day the abacha is very very nice that is my favorite abacha you can see that there is no ehu, there is no ogiri there is no um, potash then the last thing we are going to add after you've added all those ingredients is crayfish and you know why crayfish is the last to add that is because it has stone so if you if you add it in the beginning stage and you happen to be using your hands to mix it then it the crayfish tons might just enjoy you the those that crayfish normally has those tiny tiny tons it might just enjoy your hands or pierce your hands that you don't want to end up with blood so that is why you always have to add the crayfish last one last thing before we can finally dive into this abacha is frying our fish remember we seasoned it and left it aside so we're just going to fry it leave it maximum seven minutes on fire make sure you turn on the other side and it fries evenly once that is done we are going to serve our batch and be ready see if you like this recipe and you have not liked it now just like it like it tap on that like button now that we are done we are going to be dishing our abacha i hope you enjoyed making i hope you enjoyed this abacha and you are going to be trying it i don't tell me that you don't try it out try it out and you will see what i'm talking about like this abacha is a hit back to back make sure the the most important thing that you everything i added in this abacha are things that you don't miss out so the next thing this otazi i don't like otazi it's for my husband i don't like otazi but anyway i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to garnish your abacha with your fish assemble everything up together one other thing i love eating this abacha with is coke hot no 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 cold chilled bottle of horrible coke <coughs> just take it down with it and hey this life is well known i hope you enjoy yourself and see you guys in my next video if you like this video and you have not subscribed just share it with your friend make this abacha for your loved ones and they will love it they'll ask you ah, ah, what is in this abacha my husband enjoyed this abacha and it was so yummy so bye bye guys